Hey everyone, we're gonna talk about one of my favorite topics, which is how you can use your own photo or selfie in mid journey to create an art. The very first thing you need for this tutorial is a mid journey subscription plan. And as you may know, mid journey does not offer a free version or free trial anymore. So you do need to pay and get one of these subscriptions. Well, I am on the basic plan for reference, but if you are someone who uses mid journey, a lot and considers making artwork almost every single day then you can go with either standard or pro plan i don't think mega is necessary for anyone unless your account is being shared by a lot of people who all generate an art but regardless of that either one of these versions will be sufficient for you to tag along and create your awesome artworks the next thing you need for this is to open up your Discord account if you don't already have one and you can do so by heading over to the Discord website and then you can download Discord for your Windows or any operating system you're using and then you have to create an account and then log in into your Discord app just like I have done here and then you simply come here on the mid-journey website and click on the join beta or if you have already joined the beta then you just sign in and then if you tap on the sign in button it will simply open up discord and it will ask you some permissions you simply click authorized and since i have already done that i am here and i have mid journey right here as you can see and then once you head over to the mid journey discord server the first thing you will notice is the general tab and on this left portion this is where you can generate your art basically in any of these general servers but what i am going to show you is going to make things a lot easier for you and what you can actually do is create your own server by tapping on this plus icon which says add a server before that let me maximize my window and then click on this add a server button then click on create my own server for a community or a club or my friends and myself i'm gonna select this option you can give it any name i'll keep it as it is then the next thing you have to do is head back to the mid journey server and where you see the mid journey bot simply right click on that and click on the profile and there you will see a button which says add to server i'm simply gonna click that and then you have to select your server i'm gonna select the server which i have just created for this tutorial and i'm gonna authorize all of those actions click authorize it's going to do a verification after that you can use it in your own server as you can see we have mid journey right here so this is how you can activate or access mid journey by simply pressing the slash keyword and then imagine prompt but we are not trying to generate art based upon our text instead we want to create artworks based upon an image which we will be providing to this so how do we do that basically we have to simply upload our selfie in this chat I'm simply gonna drag over the image and then I'm gonna press enter. And once you do have your image, simply tap on that. Once it opens up, right click and it says copy link. Do that. All right, the next thing we have to do is press slash and imagine prompt. And here we will paste the link which we have just gotten from our image. And then we can write something we would like it to do with the image. For example, I'm here going to just write mail simply so it knows that I just want my image. And here what we are going to do is write mail simply because sometimes the AI creates image with long hair and stuff which make it look more feminine and we don't want that. So let's try that one out. And this is the process of when the image is being generated by mid journey. You can see the percentage and then it says fast. So if this is a paid version, it is going to be a fast image generation. And this looks kind of cool. You can see different variations and how the image is being generated. Over time, it is going to look different and go through several phases. Well, here we have our results. They don't look exactly the same, although they are really cool looking images. Like if you have a look, this one resembles the most out of all of these. And what are these basically? As you can see, we have four images. So these are references to one of these images, like U1 refers to version 1. And the U means upscale, meaning if you want a more refined version of that image, you can select U1. Or if you want more refined version of this image, you can select U4. And V means versions, meaning if you want more versions of this image, you can select V1 and so on and so forth. All right, now let's talk about why this is not resembling yourself or any image you have uploaded and how we can fix that. 
So the thing that I noticed is if you remove the background and if you take the picture to Photoshop and then remove the background and zoom into your face, then the picture will really resemble with the original image. And let me show you how that works. What I'm going to do is simply open Photoshop. You can use any photo editing tool for this purpose. You simply have to remove the background and add something like a plain white background in the image. So for this reference, I'm going to use this image, which I have here. I'm going to use this tool to remove the background from my image. And as you can see, we don't have a background anymore. I'm going to add a simple plain white background now. And you can do it by clicking on this button and selecting the solid layer and then selecting a color. I gave it a white color and then it was on the top of the layer. So I was not able to see my character. All I did was drag it down. I'm going to disable one of these. And here we have a plain white background, which looks perfect. And by tapping Ctrl, Alt, Shift, W on Windows, I'm going to save this image as PNG or either JPEG, whichever format you would prefer. And once you have saved your image, simply head back to Mid Journey. And then again, let's upload our image. And we have to get our image link by right clicking on the image and clicking on this copy link button. And here I have given some prompts to the image. First one, which is male. Of course, we don't want the image to look feminine. I have given it an ultra realistic prompt, meaning we want the image to be as sharp as possible. I've given it 85 millimeter and DSLR. So as to have a DSLR quality out of the output, then I have just written something like Batman and Dark Knight. So I want it to resemble with the Batman and the Dark Knight appearance. I want it to be dark and cinematic. And what this basically means right there, it is the aspect ratio, meaning I want it to be wider instead of having vertical length. So 3 ratio 2, this is what it means. It is simply an aspect ratio and IW2, meaning it will resemble to our original image as much as possible. This is what it means. And this is the highest prefix, meaning there is no more than two. So you cannot say IW3. And if we have a look at that, all of these images mostly resemble to our character. This one kind of looks like Chris Hemsworth. I'm not sure. Let me know down in comment section. The first image, in my opinion, is the one which resembles most with our character and the fourth image. We can actually get more versions of this. I'm going to go select V4 and see how that looks. All right, this time I'm going to use a different prompt instead of having a Dark Knight and Batman appearance. I'm just going to leave it as it is. And here we have more variations of our image version 4. As you can see, all of them are dark looking and they resemble it very much. As you can see, this is already looking quite clean. The version 3 looks kind of like he's scared. And the version 4 looks more like he's serious. And these are really good looking images. You can clearly see the results. They also keep his face patched as in the original image like here. You can clearly see that. And if we wanted to upscale those, I'm going to select the image number three, which looks the best in my opinion. I would like to upscale the image three. So I'm going to tap on U3 and see how that performs. As you can see, this is the upscaled image and it was quite fast. We already got the results. I'm also going to upscale the image number one from here, which looks best out of these in my opinion. So this is pretty much how you use this mid journey AI to generate images from your selfies. And you can pretty much add a lot of prompts and make it look anything you would like. For example, I made it look more like Batman and Dark Knight, which changed the vibe of the character and made it look specifically like how I mentioned and it looks really clean and neat. So I hope this video has helped you. Also, you should definitely check out this video. And if you took value, let us know or give it a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.